Women are two times as likely to be, not, to be diagnosed with PTSD than men are. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a type of psychological disorder that develops that people develop after going through a terrifying event. You hear about PTSD from soldiers coming home from war. For a long time, you only heard about men having PTSD. The reason you hear about men having PTSD is because they were the only ones that went to war back then. But now, because more women are going to war and seeing combat, they are too being diagnosed with PTSD and the rate of that is increasing. People with PTSD tend to act very on edge all the time. They get very nervous and they can lash out and lose their temper very easily. PTSD can affect men and women very differently. And due to hormonal differences, women are more likely to be diagnosed than men are. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a type of anxiety disorder that can occur after a person has been through an extremely emotional trauma that involves the threat of death or injury. PTSD more commonly seen with soldiers returning home from war, but people who have been through muggings, rape, torture, kidnapping, child abuse, car accidents, bombings, or anything else that have been psychologically... An example of suffering from these problems would be a soldier returning home from war and being back in his normal environment. Say if the soldier was outside and he heard a car backfire, it could cause a flashback and scare the soldier incredibly. Although you hear more about men coming home from war suffering from PTSD, in all reality, women are more likely to be diagnosed with PTSD than men are. In the general population, women are twice as likely to develop PTSD. The reason for this is shown in an, in an, in an experiment done, by, done with 13 women and 18 men who all suffering from PTSD. They were shown pictures that would trigger their PTSD and they had wires attached to the subjects to see how their heart rate would react to the pictures. The experiment showed that women had a higher rate, high, higher heart rate while seeing the pictures that reminded them of the tra traumatic event that took place. The experiment showed that women involved in this reacted a lot more strongly than men did. Additionally, trauma is more common in women. Five out of ten women experienced a traumatic event while both men and women have reports of suffering from symptoms of PTSD, some symptoms are more common than women than men. Women are more likely to be jumpy, to have more trouble expressing emotions, and try to avoid things that remind them of the trauma. Men are more likely to feel anger and have trouble controlling their temper, while women are more likely to feel depressed and anxious. Men dealing with PTSD are more likely to have trouble with drug and alcohol use. I found two separate articles on a man and woman both dealing with PTSD and there were some similarities but also some differences. A woman named Suzanne Swift who had been suffering from PTSD before her up upcoming deployment to Afghanistan and also a man named Robert Lindley who was, a, who was a Marine Corps veteran who had a hard time adjusting back to the normal life. Although these two stories end in completely different outcomes, they are from the same descent. Swift was having severe anxiety. She was drinking heavily and was incredibly irritable. Lindley, who had just moved away from his buddies at, from the base, was incredibly irritable and on edge and he was drinking heavily. Swift's anxiety got so bad and the irritability got so bad that she left. Swift went AWOL. She was having very bad anxiety, feeling depressed and very irritable, and she was drinking heavily. She fled to the state of Oregon and decided to hide out for a few months. A few months after, she returned back to her hometown. Within a few days, she was soon arrested. Lindley, on the other hand, was a different story. He was drinking so much and he was becoming so clinically depressed that he made his wife and kids leave the house. After a few days, police showed up at his door looking for him, and then he blockaded himself inside his house. Lindley was, Lindley was soon involved in a seven-hour shootout with police. During these seven hours, he tried to kill himself two times, and he was later hoping to be shot by the police, also known as suicide by cop. After being shot through the shoulder, he gave up and came outside and was placed under arrest. Swift, Swift was not charged with going AWOL because the judge found that although she did go AWOL, if Swift, if Swift had deployed, she would have been a great danger to her unit and could have resulted in someone getting killed or herself getting killed. The judge made Swift go get help for her PTSD, and she's doing a lot better. Lindley, however, had a different result. After he was arrested, he was sentenced to 17 years in prison. Lindley still has a lot of trouble with his PTSD in prison, and still isn't getting the help he truly needs. He has a parole opportunity in 2020 on good behavior, and he has hopes that he can get the help he needs because he is not finding it in prison. Although these two stories are completely different, they have their similarities. Although Lindley's struggle with anxiety and alcohol caused him to get into a seven-hour shootout with police and all Swift did was run away, they both, they, both of these actions were a result of one thing, PTSD.
Although you hear about men, more specifically soldiers coming back from war having PTSD, people who have never seen a day of combat before in their lives suffer from PTSD. Anyone who has been through some sort of terrifying event could result in someone having PTSD. It's not a problem that you can see on somebody's body. It's not physical. It's a psychological disorder, and it can only be cured by talking about it and seeking help from someone who is trained. Women who are more likely to be diagnosed should know that most VA medical centers offer help for people suffering from PTSD, and although it's hard to ask for help sometimes, it is needed and can change someone's life.